Hi, welcome back to our last day of Arts and Science Camp Virtual Edition. This is day four and we are diving deep into the ocean. So today we will be creating a watercolor under the ocean picture. We're gonna use watercolor. You'll need your watercolor, your water, your paint brushes, paper towel. You will need crayons, cause again, we're gonna use that, the resist effect from the crayon in the watercolor. You will need glue and to make a special um, effect with the watercolor, you're gonna need some salt. You can use Epsom salt or just regular kitchen salt, um, whatever you have. So you'll need some salt for that as well. And then you're gonna wanna have some ideas of some different things that you might see underwater in the ocean. Um, maybe some seaweed you might see, an octopus or jellyfish, a shark, um, or just regular fish. So be thinking too of some things that you would see under the ocean. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we are going to use a white crayon. And you're not gonna see it straight up, but when we start to add our watercolor, you're gonna see it show up. So you're gonna take your white crayon and we're gonna just make some little ocean waves, some squiggles, I'll turn it this way so you can see, some squiggles and ocean waves going across your whole paper. Whoops, I held it a little too tight and broke the crayon, but it's all right, broken crayon still color. So that is no big deal. So you'll just keep creating your ocean waves all over. And you probably will be able to see where you drew them in the light, but just at first glance, it looks like you have a empty paper with nothing on it. So for this activity, you're gonna wanna work, kinda keep the pace going, cause you're gonna wanna make sure that your watercolor paint does not dry before you get the salt sprinkled on. So you do wanna sprinkle your salt on while the watercolor is still wet. So um, if that means that you need to paint small sections at a time, add some salt and then paint some more, um, you can do it that way. Um, but just remember to use uh, plenty of water, make sure your brush is good and wet. And we're gonna use some different shades of blues and greens, um, some colors that you might see under the ocean. So, and again, we're gonna just paint our whole paper. You're gonna fill this up with watercolor, the whole thing. We don't want any white left. So make sure your, again, your brush is good and wet. And we'll spread our color. And if you think that maybe your paint's drying quicker than when you can finish, then just go ahead and get a little bit of salt and go ahead and sprinkle over the part that you, where you've already got your paint. Because for this effect to happen, you're gonna, your paint needs to be wet. And the salt is gonna kinda draw up the moisture from the, the wet watercolor and leave behind a really neat effect. So it'll look really cool. So just keep painting and again, like I said, fill up your paper. You don't want it to have any white left. And you can see where the white crayon waves that I've made are starting to show up. They're showing up really good now. So I'm just gonna keep painting, get a little bit of darker blues down here the deeper I get. And then I'll add some salt to that section. And then I've got just one more small section down here to paint. And we'll get that filled in all the way across so that your whole paper is filled up with these really neat shades of blues and greens and get your salt sprinkled on that section. So your paper is gonna need to dry with the salt on it. So we're gonna just kind of move that to the side and let that continue to dry. So while that is drying, 
then we are going to draw our ocean animals and things that we would see under the ocean. So you're going to draw those with your crayon. So you can, like I said, you might see fish, a jellyfish, a sea turtle, um, possibly some seaweed. So we'll draw some seaweed in there. I don't know if anybody's ever been in the ocean and then sometimes something brushes up against your leg and you might get a little scared and you look and it's just a, a piece of seaweed. So you can get some seaweed colored and drawn on there. If you wanted to make a big shark or a dolphin, anything. So you are gonna be able to just kind of create any little animals that you might would see in the ocean. And when you get them drawn with your crayons, you can take your paintbrush and we're gonna just watercolor over those. Just a really thin, small layer, some watercolor. And again, the watercolor will resist to stick to the paper where the crayon is. So you can just start to add a little bit of watercolor over there. Then I'll do some for the turtle here. And we're gonna cut them out. So I'm just kinda painting over it just to kinda get it all painted and colored in and where you can still see that the crayon's resisting the watercolor. So we'll get those filled in. Just all of these little things that you drew. It's so easy to see like when you paint over it that you can just really see how the paint starts to bead up over the crayon and it doesn't stick to it. So you will paint all of the things that you drew, all of your underwater ocean animals and things. And when this dries, you are going to want to cut them out. So I've got some over here done that have dried. So you'll get, you'll cut out the things that you're going to put in your underwater scene. So we've got that. So once your watercolor picture has dried, you're going to go over to the trash can and you're going to shake off all the salt. Rub it, rub it up and try your best to, to not make a mess. I know messes happen when we create art and we can clean up after ourselves, but um, so you want to do it. You don't want to just brush it on the floor because um, could you imagine if your dog came up and tried to lick the salt and he'd make a funny face, it would not be good. So this is the effect that is left from the salt. You can see that it was sprinkled on while the paint was wet and it kind of just soaked up the water and the color from the picture and it left behind this neat little effect that kind of looks like little fizzy bubbles and things. So you're going to take your animals, your seaweed, anything that you've created for your underwater ocean scene and we're going to start to glue those down in place on your picture. So you can use the stick glue or liquid glue, whatever you prefer. The stick glue will, will work really just great for this, but if you had liquid glue instead, that is going to work too. So you will just get all of your ocean creatures and animals glued down on your paper and create a neat underwater ocean scene. Maybe you wanted to draw yourself scuba diving on out of crayon and watercolor that, and then you could have yourself scuba diving under the ocean there. Like you are actually diving deep. So we'll get all of our pieces glued down. And then I had some seaweed too. And 
We'll get that glued down in place. So then you will have your underwater ocean picture. And like I said, this project is going to take some time because you do need to wait for your things to dry, for your paper to dry with your ocean in it so that the salt can create that really neat fizzy effect. And also for your ocean creatures and things, those paintings to dry so that you can get those cut out and glued down on your ocean picture. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed diving deep today and all the days during Arts Camp this week, virtual edition, and we hope to see you next year.